Hello fellow traders, how are you? In today's video I'm going to show you a very simple but very efficient trading system. So let's start the rock and roll, let's go! The system is based of one indicator and two moving averages. Very simple, but don't go away. Stay a while, just have a look. You will see what's going on. So first of all, we have to apply a channel to the chart. Channel built up of two moving averages, which is, we got period 21, method smooth. I prefer smooth. You can do whatever you want. You can try at the other one, exponential or simple or linear weighted. Apply to low color. I put red on this one and to form the channel. I put the same moving average period 21 smooth apply to I and the color I put green just to make difference. So we got nice lovely channel. As you see, we are on a great British pound USD called cable and it looks like that on H4 four hours chart. And for this one, as you can see, we got a lovely channel here. Usually we can stay what, where the market is at the moment, seeing as example, as example, the price is here, is under the channel, the market is falling, simply as like that. It's pretty difficult to buy. Usually I take trading decisions, buying when the price crosses through the channel above, like here, for example and selling when the price fall below the mark like here for example okay obviously we got the ranging market which it doesn't work straight away it if we got raging market is better to use lower time frames try it on a lower time frame when the market is ranging so but for this one we need another indicator this indicator is called lager rsi and i found a special settings for this indicator i'll show you them later on so here we got known as default the levels here there are special levels uh, defined by by the indicator maker whoever made it so we got okay it looks like that let's let's try let's change a little bit to make it more friendly for the eyes okay here we go let's try it make it like dots color the line color line make let's make thicker looks like that look at that it's beautiful but it's obviously you see it's uh, fluctuates with the market this indicator and you can take any decision regarding this one but what I prefer, the settings for this indicator, the default one, is 0 0.7, which is not the one I use. I usually use the setting of 0 0.85 or 0 0.9. Let's have a look. Look, let's put here 0 0.85 instead of 0 0.7. All right, we got 85. Look, it looks different. So the story is, as soon as the market reaches zero level, even if it, it goes back somewhere, it's small correction here, it doesn't go further. Look here, the market is falling and Lager stays in zero area very, very long time. Here it started, it was a try to get the market back into the green area. Uh, it didn't manage, it stopped, falling again, and here we got the signal when the market started rising and kept in this area pretty long, as you can see, and then started, Lager started falling and falling, and the market ranging here was trying to get higher, but couldn't. At the end of the day, the market started falling, and look here. Here, as soon as it started falling, we got a straight line here. Straight line. So as long as the line is straight over here and the market is falling, you can easily sell. No problem at all. You got a 75% chance of uh, making a good trade. Same story here. As soon as the market went through the channel, trend is rising, 
and you got here straight line on Lager. Whatever you buy, always make some peeps. So it's not that bad. Obviously, I recommend you to play with those settings, including the settings of those moving averages. Obviously, you can change the period. Let's say, let's do it a Fibonacci number 55. Look at this one, how it looks like. Obviously, it's different, but it also gives good signals. Look, here we go. As soon as the price falls and started falling, we, got, we are in the zero area. If you sell here, they got quite a good chance to make a couple of a couple of pips same store over here the market reached one area and still from this area you another we are on the four hours chart you can make another like 200 pips so it's not that bad i recommend you to try it to play with the settings you can change the settings that's even up to 95 if you want let's put 92 look at this one we put 92 it's even better it's even better look look it's much smoother much smoother so selling here when the the price leaves the area of one overbought area and with stop loss placed over here we can make quite a good profit here look over here just sell here with 250 pip stop loss we got take profit something like 360 or 370 it's just one position from 3rd february to 9 march you can also try those levels they work pretty well 075 and 015 they work pretty well as soon as the price goes through the 075 and starts falling we are selling and again, when the price gets uh, above the level 0.15, you're buying, which happens over here, and so on and so on. And how the market fluctuates, you can see by this indicator. That's it at the moment. If you like this video, just give me, uh, give me a shout, write in the comments if you like it or not. If you got any suggestions, please write them down as well. Give me a like or subscribe if you if you really like this video and you are welcome see you next time thank you very much bye bye